It's a good question. I mean, it also depends on, again, like what kind of project have we got? Is it a really young, really like social media, um, like talented act that are just like digital natives with TikTok and Instagram and really know how to create reels and stories and, and, and do it in an appealing way? Then obviously it's probably smart to have a very social media driven communication plan. In any case, you need that nowadays, but obviously some kinds of music are more suited for them. Especially if you're doing like hip hop or pop music or like youth culture driven music, then you really should have a very active communication strategy on the social media that kind of supplement your campaign peaks, new single, next single, third single, maybe fourth single, at some point the album release or the EP release or whatever you're working towards and then you kind of stretch that and obviously you need to um, I think in order to do that, you need to have a plan in terms of what's appealing for the people that are following us as an act. So doing sessions, maybe also performing in special little contexts, doing special sessions and being quite online driven in terms of creating special content is good for some artists. For other artists, it might just be enough to be fun and charming and do that. So like if you're a band and you need to show you can play and stuff, then you probably need to have some quite life driven content you have an older audience that's looking at that, but I think the young bands, like, if you think of what are they called, Lovejoy, and you have these kind of new bands that are just like completely coming from social media and then becoming bands and, 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 and be digital native. So it really does depend, you know, a lot on how modern can you be as well. Social media instruments and artists, I think it does depend on, on like a target group, you know. I think if, if you're a young artist, um, you should definitely in most cases be active on, on TikTok. If you're a 45 year old uh, metal band where there's a huge scene as well, you know, I don't know how important it is for them to be on TikTok because most of their fans are probably more active on Facebook, you know. So it, it, it's really like, I don't think it, like, because you can't be perfect on all platforms. It's just too much work, you know. So I also think it's also about the artists understanding their tribe and, and the people that, you know, could be interested in their music. So I really think you need to have a look at that before you even start, you know, investing too much time building a specific platform and where do we need to be. And when a young act comes to us, um, we definitely need to make sure that they understand the importance of, of the basics, you know, just having a good press kit in terms of even press pictures, you know, things like that are still important on some levels and that there's good coherence between image and sound and and obviously, when they come to us, we need to have another... We can't just have a band that is completely green, that do not really know how it works. We, we do depend on them having some kind of team around them, because if they don't, we could take their money and run, roughly speaking, but why should we? Because it's not good for them, it's not good for us in the long term. So an act also needs to be ready. That There's a certain point, I think, if you're a responsible agency, there's a certain cutoff point even if the music is great, where you have to say we can't help you at this stage just because it's really competitive right now. And there's this huge backlog of mid-sized major act releases that have been recorded during the pandemic and the window and the space for new acts is really tiny. So you need to be very competitive in order to get in. Um, so I think this is something that we also need to look at coming back to like not just having the assets and the music and the content, but also having the right team and the right resources behind the project. Because otherwise you're just gonna hinder the project because they're gonna burn money that they're not gonna get a lot of return on. So I think that there's also a certain responsibility that comes back in the agencies.